hi welcome back today i'm going to be doing a book review i haven't filmed a solo book review in so long and i'm honestly a little bit nervous about how this is going to go because it has been a while since i just sat down and talked about one book solely one book for an entire video. One of my goals for this year is to do more solo book reviews, so I'm hoping that doing this will kind of get me back into the swing of things, but I am a little bit nervous about it, and I hope that I'm able to edit it together into something moderately coherent. So today I'm going to be doing a book review of Jade City by Fonda Lee. This is the first book in the Greenbone Saga and this is a super popular adult fantasy series here on booktube and I think just on like the bookish internet in general this is such a beloved series and the final book in the trilogy actually just came out right at the end of 2021. So getting into the series now is honestly like the perfect time because I am really excited to be able to just marathon through the rest of the trilogy. So if you don't know, this is actually kind of an urban fantasy set in the fictional city of John Loon, and basically the entire political maneuverings of the city center around the use of jade. There are some people that have the ability to use jade to enhance their abilities, basically their fighting ability, their perception, all of these different factors. They're able to use jade by either wearing it like on jewelry or some people even go so far as to like put it directly into their skin and jade is such a hot commodity everybody wants to be able to use it but obviously only the super powerful like high up in the like political system people are the people that are able to use jade the series really focuses on a war that is kind of building and then starting to take place between two clans in the city that are kind of the ones that are in control of the manufacturing manufacturing of jade, the ones that are in control of the mining and distribution of jade. We follow the No Peak clan, that's like the main set of characters that we follow. They are part of the No Peak clan and they are the ones that have been in kind of the most powerful position for the longest amount of time but a rival clan called the mountain is hoping to kind of raise their own status a little bit and so as this book kind of continues and gets more towards the end this war just starts brewing and you can definitely feel the tension between all of the characters. We follow four main perspectives in this book. Uh, the four like siblings of the family that is in control of the Nopi clan, the Call family. But there are some perspectives that are kind of thrown in throughout the book, some like one-off chapters here and there of other characters that are involved in some way in this war. I just think this book is so fantastic. It sets up a really interesting world. It definitely is kind of like a different type of magic system than a lot of other adult fantasies. It has some incredibly compelling characters. Like I wanted to know more about every single character that we read about, read from in this book. I just think this book had a really fantastic balance of the action moments, the fantasy elements like the magic, uh, character development, family, romance, just like everything about this book. I think it was doing it all like perfectly. Like I said, the main perspectives are these four siblings, or it's like three siblings and then kind of like an adopted sibling that is a huge part of this family. I really loved reading about these sibling relationships and how complicated and dynamic they are. I think that the three main siblings, Hilo, Shay, and Lon, are such fantastic characters and I think that they each really balance each other really well. Lon is the head of the family and he is kind of this like level-headed methodical character. He has his own personal aspirations but he knows that as the person who is in charge of the Nopi clan he has a duty to his people before he has a duty to himself and I think that just his like internal struggle was really well written and I just was so compelled by his character. I wanted to know more about his history and his backstory. I think that Shay brings this kind of like calculating, kind of manipulative attitude to the book. I think that she has a mind for numbers and at the beginning of the book she's been away from the family. She's been away from the city for a while and she comes back and she kind of quickly becomes embroiled in the this war again and I just think that she added so much cleverness to all of the movements that these characters are making and I just I really really loved her and then of course Hilo he's just kind of the brute force he's strong and he has like one thing on his mind and he wants to achieve it 
at, at, at any cost but he also has just this deep love for his family and his people and so he's not going to go over the line he's he knows where where to draw the line when it comes to being the strength that his clan needs and I just I really appreciated him and I think that his growth throughout the story is what I was most interested in because at the beginning he's just kind of like this meathead kind of guy and then as the story goes on you kind of know like you kind of get to learn that he cares more about this family in this clan than you're initially led, led to believe and he's actually a lot smarter than he lets people believe he is. I also really love Andon. He is kind of the adopted sibling that's brought into this family and I think that his story is only going to get more intense as the series, go series goes on. He's the youngest. He's He's just kind of come of age and he's just really starting to become a part of the family and a part of the clan and I just can't wait to see where it goes from here. I'm also hoping that in future installments in the series, in fact I'm sure of it, we're going to get to learn a little bit more about some of the lesser characters like the side characters in this book that don't play a huge role in this one but just seem like they have so much potential like Wen and also the leader of the opposing clan. I think we get a few chapters from her perspective but I think that the scope of her story is going to open up even more just in general I think the scope of this story is going to open up even more with like especially the how this book ends and kind of like the cliffhanger that it leaves on I think that there's just so much potential that I am so intrigued about what's going to happen next for the first bit of this book I was liking it but I wasn't really totally like super invested in the story it definitely has a bit of a slower start there's something that happens like right about the 50% mark that honestly completely shocked me and I should have seen it coming but I didn't and the fact that I didn't is what really propelled me to like read the last half of the book basically almost in one sitting because I just had to know what was going to happen I just had to know how everything was gonna go I really appreciate that Fonda Lee uh, made the decisions that she did in this book I appreciate that she didn't shy away from some of the harder character deaths that I wasn't necessarily prepared for if she's this brutal in book one I'm sure that's only going to get worse in the rest of the series and I'm honestly just kind of excited about that although I am a little bit nervous because obviously I have characters that I absolutely love that I don't want anything to happen to them but I'm prepared to deal with whatever she decides to do. My only really like I guess criticism of the book the only thing that kept me from giving it the full five stars I think it's probably like a four and a half is that I wish that Jade like the use of Jade was explained a little bit more. We get quite a few scenes of characters using it and we kind of like get the sense of what happens to their bodies when they're using their jade. I wish that it was just a little bit more clear like I just I wish there was like maybe one chapter where it was explained fully like exactly what happens and how it happens and why some people are able to use jade and, and some aren't. And also there is one character in the story that we do read from a couple of times like he's not a main character but he's not like a lesser character and I honestly didn't care about him whatsoever and I kind of get the sense that he is going to play a much bigger role as the series goes on and I just don't know if I care because I didn't care about him in this book and I kept getting annoyed every time we'd go back to his perspective I just I didn't care. Overall I just think this is such a smart interesting action-packed fantasy that I'm so glad that I finally got around to reading after hearing people talk about it for years. I finally understand what all the hype is about and I totally get it and I'm totally on board. I just have a feeling that I'm going to get even more invested. I'm going to fall even more in love with this world and I kind of feel like the series is going to end up like completely destroying me but I'm okay with that. I really loved this. If you are even a little bit interested in the story and you have been thinking about picking it up I would highly recommend picking it up it's so great like it really is one of the most amazing adult fantasy books that I've ever read and I just I'm so glad that I finally got around to reading it if you have read Jade City and you have similar or different opinions to me I would really love to know I'd really love to know what you thought about what happened like right at the 50% mark I'd really love to know what your theories are for the future installments in the trilogy if you haven't finished it I would love to know who your favorite character character is. I think mine is probably Shay right now but it could also be Andon. I don't really know. I, I love all of the characters. So that's all I have for this video. Like I said leave your thoughts, opinions, feelings about Jade City down in the comments. I'd really love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon. Bye!